Panic Porcupine is a 2D physics-based platformer about a tiny, anxious porcupine who must save the world. Because a certain blue hedgehog is presently away, basking in his newly reinvigorated stardom. Our diminutive brown friend, instead, must be the one to travel across the colorful retro landscape, collecting eggs, overcoming devious pathfinding puzzles, and, uh, I'll be honest, I only finished World 1. And the game seems great, but it is absolutely out of my wheelhouse. Panic Porcupine seeks to take Sonic 1's platforming physics from way back on the Genesis, and evolve them into spectacularly difficult and harrowingly precise platforming gauntlets. Knowing exactly when to hold, let go of, and alternate between the various states of Panic's movement is essential to victory. The original Sonic was a physics-based game, don't get me wrong, but there's no contest here. You can finish Sonic 1 without understanding too much of the game's deterministic platforming, but you absolutely cannot best Panic Porcupine without an intimate understanding of its mechanics. And I think that's a good thing. I tried, retried, and re-retried levels countless times to puzzle out what I was doing wrong. Even the slightest variation of angle and momentum makes a world of difference. To many people, these are simple tricks, and I acknowledge that. There are some things I'm good at, and some I'm not. Panic Porcupine is interested in teaching me a skill set I have had little access to and investment in previously. I managed to successfully 100% the first world, grabbing all the optional collectibles through anxiety-inducing runs, and it was fun, but not exactly my preferred way to spend time. If you like what this game's going for, or you're a fan of these physics mechanics, I strongly recommend at least giving it a look. It wasn't for me, but I wouldn't change anything about it to better suit my tastes either. It knows what it wants to be.